hey they're good looking if you're short on time and you want to train all the muscles to get that heart rate up and only use one dumbbell well you've come to the right workout listen i'm also going to be using a bosu ball however that's totally optional because i will show in another screen how to easily do the movement without a bosu ball and heads up if you're part of the ignite challenge this is day five all right lace up your runners and let's get warmed up All right, before we get started, if you wear a fitness watch, hey, don't forget to turn that on. Awesome. Okay, let's start out with some squat patterns. However, I want the arms up and then shrug the shoulders into your back pocket. Now let's get those feet shoulder width or maybe a bit wider, turn the toes out, push the tush rearward and then drive up, pushing through those heels. When we squat, we want the knees to track with the toes and you're pushing your bum back almost like there's a chair behind you that you're trying to find with your seat but we'll never actually sit in it. So practice this. We're gonna do some lunges and squats in this workout. However, I will give you and offer some cues if deep knee bends just aren't your thing. Now we're keeping the arms up because that's gonna get that upper back of ours fired up and shoulders. Here we go, let's do two more here. Last one. Good job, keep the arms up and circle them behind you nice and slow and let's do that again for six. Really exaggerate the range of motion. Working through that shoulder joint. Last two. One more. Good job. Mirror me. Bring this heel up to the bum. Lift the other arm up. Release in front. Bring hand to toe. Other side. So it's a little bit of a dynamic quad stretch. We reach. Good. Now, if you have a hard time grabbing onto the toe or foot, just pretend. Nobody knows, but you. <laughs> Good, and reach it with the other hand, and then push the seat rear and hip hinge as we fold forward, dynamically stretching here into quad, hip flexor, and hamstring. Two more, reach it. One more, reach it. I have a hard time with this leg. This is my tight leg. <laughs> and release. Give yourself some room laterally. I want you to step out, mirror me, push your seat rear, and let's warm up those inner thighs. Alternating the leg, again, pushing the bum rearward. So we are always focusing on hip hinging here to protect our spine. Now here's the scoop. We have seven exercises and we're gonna rotate through them for four rounds. Lucky us though, after each round is complete, we get a nice little 30 second recovery and water break. 30 seconds of work, 15 seconds in between to get ourselves set up for the next move. It's a circuit style, so it's a traditional metabolic conditioning workout to really get those heart rates up. We'll focus a lot on the core as well. Last two. Good. One more. Excellent. All right. Hands light behind the ears, feet hip width, knees soft, hip hinge forward for a good morning. Keep those elbows pulled back though. Now, if you're part of the Ignite Challenge, I'm also going to ask you to stay to the very end of the video because we have day five of our Perfect Our Push Ups. So this is in conjunction of the challenge. However, if you popped on this video randomly, not part of the challenge, you know what? Stick around. Do some push-ups with us. What do you got to lose? <laughs> Last four. Good. Seat goes rear. Three. Two. One more. One. Excellent. All right. Shake it out. We're going to start with a single arm snatch, and then I'm going to eventually add a lunge to that, which is going to be completely optional. So let's grab that moderate weight dumbbell. Okay, moderate to heavy. Feet apart, so when we do the snatch, okay, curl the wrists in a bit, dumbbell kind of drops, and then we snatch it, and we come under the weight. So let's give it a try, ready? Mirror me, so snatch it, good. Now when you snatch it, I want you to tap that leg back a bit. Good, so it's not a shoulder, you know, a shoulder press, it's not a bicep curl. Good, you're using your hips, to snatch it back. Good. Now let's add that leg. And then if you want, you can add a lunge. Okay. Good. 
And then settle it down nice and easy. So the lunge is totally optional. Do one more. All right. So let's learn the snatch on the other side and then we'll add a little bit of a tap back. And if you want to add the lunge with me, you can. So feet apart, start with that semi squat, wrist curls in, use the hips to drive it up. And then you want to be under the dumbbell when it's up. Good. Now add that tap back with the foot. Good. Add the lunge if you want, and then we lower the dumbbell slowly. Breathe. So again, squat, wrist curl, get it up there, lunge it down if you'd like. Time, all right. Head and shoulders on the BOSU or the ground, then give me a bridge. Dumbbell in your left hand to make it more challenging. You can have a dumbbell in each hand. Both arms start straight, chest press, and then change arms. So hips up high, and I want you to power through this a little faster than we do on a traditional strength workout. Just make sure you have a solid grip on the dumbbell. As I said, you can most definitely put a dumbbell in each hand driving through the heels, getting those hips up nice and high. One arm stays up as the other one comes down. One more. All right, come into a standing position, holding on to your dumbbell, what we call a goblet style, kickstand split lunge, just mirror me. I'm gonna come off of this heel here and put all the weight on that front leg as I do a squat and then push through the heel and drive up. Good, so this leg here, it's just kick standing. It's just hanging out. Bum goes back. Tempo's a little faster than we would do in a traditional strength workout, which is why we are always go a little lighter in our metabolic conditioning workouts with our dumbbells. Let's see, three more. Last two. One more. Woo, all right, so shake it out. Let's do the other side. Now, if you have sensitivity in the knees, your squat may be a quarter squat, right? So I want you to go in what's gonna feel best for your knee joint. Three, two, one, dumbbell close to the body, take it down, drive up, good. Down, drive, good. Just kicks down with that back leg. Head up, chest up. As much body weight as you can in this working leg. The other ones, again, just a kickstand. Last three. And two. One more. All right, we're crossover. Crossover um, crunch on the ball with the knee coming up, so you'll follow me. If you don't have a BOSU ball, you're gonna do a bicycle crunch. And if you can't do crunches because of osteoporosis, I want you to do a plank, okay? So if you're following me, twist knee up. Twist knee up. Or take a look at mini-me doing bicycle crunches. If again, you can't crunch, I want you to do a plank. You can go from the forearms or the hands Whatever works for you. You're just gonna hold that solid plank though and not move a muscle for another 10 seconds. Two more. One more. Good job, come on up. Whew. All right, you're gonna take the dumbbell and place it down on the ground. It's our final move and then we'll grab a water break. Feet are shoulder width apart. Now I want you to step back with your right, come down, row, release, Step back with the left, row, release. Now we're not bending or rounding the spine. This is making us sink into that lunge. So if you've got sensitivity in the knees, I don't want you to let go of the dumbbell. You're gonna give me a slight knee bend and focus more on the row pattern. Yes, one more each side. Time, all right. I know, that went by fast. That was our first round. Grab a quick step. We've got three more to go. So now we're really going to tweak the movement so that our form is bang on and we feel the muscles we're trying to focus on. All right. So, want you to mirror me. 
We start with the feet wide. Remember, we're in that bit of a squat pattern. Wrist curl in. Now let's snatch it up. And if you want, add a lunge, finish the lunge, and then bring the dumbbell down. So you'll get more snatches in if you're not doing the lunge. Remember, it's not a bicep curl, okay? We're using our hips to get that dumbbell up there. Hup. Nice. Wrist curl, hip thrust, dumbbell up. Chest head up. Woo. All right, nicely done. So maybe the second set, you're kind of starting to get a little bit more. I hope so. I hope my coaching and cueing is helping you. Here we go, so same thing, okay? Just the other arm. However, it might not be as coordinated, right? So we just have to work with that. So come down, hup. Good, find that balance. Good, now if you'd like, add a lunge. Good, advance people. I want you to try to get that knee to touch the ground. Hips, use those hips to get that dumbbell up there and then get that body of yours under the dumbbell. Good. Time. All right. So we've got chest press now. Again, grab onto another dumbbell. You advance people. Now for this set, if you want, you can hold on to each end of your moderate weight dumbbell. Here we go. Bum up. And let's press up and do a skull crusher. Release. So if you found, like I did, that single arm press alternating really wasn't getting my arms, wasn't getting those triceps fired up, and I don't have access to another dumbbell, while well, you join me here. Press, tricep extension, or what I call a skull, what's called a skull crusher. You're either on the head and shoulders on the BOSU or on your ground. Squeezing those glutes though, hips are up high. Let's do one more, come on. And bring her down. All right, we've got that kickstand split squat. So just mirror me, this guy's kickstand, dumbbells close to the body, shoulders back and down, down, drive up. Good, tempo's a little faster as we mentioned the last round. Feeling this in the glute, hamstring, hip, quad two, <laughs> so pretty much full lower body on this one with an emphasis on a single leg. One more, Woo. all right, we got the other side. So we want to kickstand, Woo. keep everything upright, abs in tight. Three, two, one, drive the hips back, sink it down as deep as you feel comfortable. So it can go to a quarter squat, it can go as deep as me. Keeping that tempo though. All right, I know maybe we're getting tired. You might want to slow down a bit. See if you can avoid that. Keep that same speed. It's just 30 seconds of work. We got this. Time, all right. Crossover crunch on the BOSU, or maybe you're gonna do a bicycle crunch, or maybe you're doing a plank. Whatever you want, we got 30 seconds of abs in three, two, one, let's go. Breathe out as you lift up. Lift that leg up if you can, if you're here on my BOSU. On my BOSU, on a BOSU. Are you on my BOSU? Get off of my BOSU. Now, if you are on the BOSU, note that one of the many advantages of working on the BOSU is you fire up more abs on your crunches. So right here, we're getting some more core fired up. Three, two, one, and lift. Woo. All right, we got that deep lunge and row. Remembering though, if lunges don't bother your knee, you're gonna just give me a shallow lunge and keep the dumbbell up, okay? <clears throat> Otherwise, down on the ground, row, row. Now we want speed, you guys, remember. It's tempo time. Knee stays behind that toe box. Hip hinge, elbow driving up past the rib cage. Gaze is just ahead of you. Once you see me, don't bother looking at me. 
Woo, two more, come on. Before that timer goes, last one. Oh yes, all right. Grab a sip, keep those feet moving. We're moving into round three. So single arm snatch, and maybe you're gonna add that lunge with me. Woo, how's the heart rate? Mine's getting up there. All right, so me or me, let's start with this arm as we usually do. Wrist curl in a bit. Use the hips to get that dumbbell up, not the bicep. Hup. And then right underneath, solid core. Such a good core move. Now at the lunge if you want. So it's up, step back, lunge, lower. Get yourself set up for rep three. Don't rush it. If done correctly, you're gonna get more out of it. More calories burn, better heart rate response. If you try to rush, thinking more reps is better, whoo, baby, it ain't. <laughs> Time, okay, let's do the other side. I used to live in that mentality too. More is better. <laughs> then I got older and wiser. <laughs> All right, so let's start with just the snatch on this one, then we'll add the lunge on the second rep if you want. Here we go, wrist curl it, hip lift. You wanna be right underneath that dumbbell. Lower down slowly, let's do it now. Add that lunge. You know that saying, youth is wasted on the young. <laughs> Breathe it, Whew, time. All right, we're moving into that chest press. And then I added that skull crusher on the BOSU or the ground, or dumbbell in each hand and you give me those chest presses like you were born to do it. Ready, hips up, press. Good, heels are close to the bum, driving through those heels so we can really feel those glutes fired up. And that's how it works either if you're on the BOSU or the ground. One more. All right, come on up for me. Whew. We have the kickstand split squat. So I want you just to mirror me. You've got that goblet style hold with the dumbbell. Drop it down, drive up one leg. Here we go, everything we can in that one leg. Shoulders are pulled back. Bomb is pushing rearward, trying to find that imaginary chair I was talking about in warm up. And you taking it as deep as it feels good for the knees. Remember though, we gotta move those knees. <laughs> Motion is lotion. The less you move them, the more pain you're gonna have. So keep moving them, people. One more. Whew. Okay, we got the other side. <laughs> keep moving them, people. <laughs> Woo, I'm bossy. Please keep moving them. There we go. <laughs> I beg you, <laughs> keep moving those knees. Three, two, one, other side, go. Press, good. So kickstand, I'm just putting a little bit of weight on that heel that's lifted, that foot with the heel lifted. Everything else I'm trying to really drive through this one leg here. Time, all right, crossover crunch on the BOSU or bicycles or maybe a plank. Forearms, you can be on the knees too for a plank if you're a beginner starting out with me. But we wanna hit those abs and we're going in three, two, one, go. If you're on the BOSU with me, we're twisting through the waist, all right? And lifting the leg up, creating instability, making that core work a little bit more. When we go over the BOSU, that means we have more abs have to fire up to lift ourselves up. So where the ground would traditionally stop you, you're gonna go a little further back on the BOSU, and that's where we get those core activated more than a regular crunch. Here we go, one more, one more, up, up, time, woo! All right, 
Last one of the series and we get our water break. So remember, you can tap back, hip hinge, so we get the back muscles fired up. Okay, and alternate or join me. And up, up. Now I'm gonna add a little bit of a hop here. I'm putting very little weight on this hand that's resting on the front of my thigh. In fact, you can rest it on your hip if you find that you are putting too much weight on it, because I don't want you to. I want the leg to do the job. One more. Woo! All right, shake out those legs. We're moving into our last round. So, single arm snatch. You're a pro at this one now. It's our fourth round. You could be here teaching it. That's how good you are. Me or me, same hand. We'll do the first one as a snatch, and then I'll add the lunge if you want to join me. Sink down. Wrist curl in. Hip up. Under that dumbbell, yeah? Good job, you. Hup. Lunge it. So my dumbbell kind of comes in between and behind the knees a little bit in that setup. So make sure you have those legs wide enough. And then I hip hinge and use my hips to get that dumbbell up there. So very similar to a kettlebell swing or a dumbbell swing. Okay, here we go. Other side, set up, take it down, and hip hook, underneath. You underneath, good job. Add the lunge if you'd like. So these are power lifting exercises. Whew. And these are what you would call functional exercises because we got your body working as a single unit to do one job, get that dumbbell up there. Which is how we function in life. One more, one more, come on, up. And time. All right, nicely done. Alternating chest press, or maybe you have a dumbbell in each hand, or perhaps you're gonna join me. Narrow press to skull crusher. Here we go, let's get in a bridge. Ready? Hips high, three, two, one, go. Squeeze that booty. I know I felt mine dropping, so I thought, hmm, I wonder if yours is too. So <laughs> lift it up. One more, and come on up. Staggered stance, split squat. So remember how you hold that dumbbell? Great job, you. Staggered stance, just a little bit of kickstand. Three, two, one, drop her down, drive it up. Breathe with it. So let's take that exhale as we come up. So we drive up, here we go. Good, you breathing? You're like, yes, PJ, I am breathing. <laughs> Leave me alone, woman. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> I feel responsible for you. <laughs> You are my client right now, so making sure you're breathing right. One more, and other side. <laughs> I do, I take my job very, um, yeah. I don't know what I'm trying to say right now. <laughs> Here we go, ready? Three, two, one, and take it down. Good, drive up. I take my job seriously, that's what the heck I'm trying to figure out to say. When I'm on camera, I pretend you're right there. The camera is you. <laughs> so I wanna make sure you understand the move. You do it right. You know why you're doing it. You know what you're training. One more, come on. Yes, we got an extra one in. I won't charge you for that one. Okay, we got those crossovers, or maybe you're doing a bicycle crunch, or a forearm, or a straight arm plank. Let's start those abs in three, two, one, go. 
Remember for that plank, you can also be on the knees to modify. There is a big, hairy chunk of dog hair sitting right beside my BOSU. I don't understand how it got here because I vacuumed just before I started this workout and the dogs are outside. But it's a huge dust bunny. One more, one more. Whew. See, this ain't no bunny, huh? That's an effing rabbit. <laughs> okay, where are we? We got lunge and row. Ready? Take it narrow or take it deep and go. A little bit of a hop if you want to add that while we switch legs. I know a lot of you guys have dogs and cats too, so you know what the dust bunny situation can be like. But I seriously just vacuumed 30 minutes ago. <laughs> Come on, crew, one more, one more, let's do it. Woo! Good job, you. Shake out those thighs, especially if you join me in the jumping version. All right, grab a quick sip. We're gonna cool down. All right. Now, here, here's the scoop. If you've got to leave, I get it. Down below in the video, though, it is time stamped on where we pick up with the push ups. So, if you've got a chance later on today, you know, join us back for the push ups. It's nothing outrageous. And if you're part of the Ignite Challenge, you gotta come back for the push ups if you're leaving me, okay? <laughs> All right, grab a sip. As I said, we're gonna do the perfect your push-up drills and then we will stretch out. All right, keep marching it out, especially if you find your heart rate's really going. Um, we are gonna be on our stomachs and it's really uncomfortable when you're breathing hard and the heart rate's elevated to be on a stomach. So push pause if you need to walk it out a little longer and bring that heart rate back down to um, a level that will enable you to lie on your stomach. We're gonna start with warming up into the shoulders with my V arm exercise. This is gonna hit your lower traps. So essentially pretend that I am lying face down. I'm gonna bring my arms up like a letter V, thumbs pointed up, they're gonna lie on the ground and then just lifting my arms only, I'm gonna lift the thumbs up to the ceiling and release, keeping the rest of my body on the ground. Now here's the scoop. There'll be some of you with frozen shoulders or just shoulders that will not be able to have that range of motion available to you. If that is you, then I want you to give me a hip hinge, okay? And you're gonna do it without the ground. So now you've got that opportunity to bring the arms a little lower, all right? And maybe a little past the shoulder. Deal? We got 10 of them, so let's get set up. Here we go, tuck the toes into the ground for me. Settle yourself in. Extend the arms so that they look like literally the letter V, thumbs pointed up to the ceiling. If you can, drop the head, tuck the chin, and here we go, lift the arms up, moving through the shoulders. Bring it up for 10, lifting as high as you can. Nine, keeping the chest on the ground. Eight, seven, lowering slowly. Six, five, Four, three, two, one. Hands down, place them so the fingertips are just above the shoulders or just past the shoulders. Tuck the elbows in slightly. Spread the fingers wide. Okay, so you want as much spread in those fingers as you can. That's gonna help with the wrists. Now from this position, you can stay on your knees or press yourself straight up. Okay, and then we're gonna lower all the way back down to the ground again. Elbows tracking to the back of your mat. Good, so there's one, we got 10. Take a look at that top of your mat. So you can be from the knees or the toes. Ready, and two. Now, we've talked about this. If you've been in the Ignite Challenge with me, we want that body moving up and down as one solid unit. So that's why push-ups are so awesome to work the core. Three. But if you're having a hard time with that, you stay on the knees, all right? Slight pause when you're on that mat. Here we go, number five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. 
and 10. Lower down. Press yourself up. So there you go, gang. There is day five of Perfect Your Push-Up. All right, now we will stay here. If you can, sit back on the heels or sit cross-legged. Interlace the hands behind the head. Pull the elbows back. Let the head drop back. Gazes up to the ceiling. Release the hands, extend the arms straight up, reach through the side body. Again, you can be cross-legged too if sitting back on the heels is uncomfortable for the knees or the ankles even for that matter. Release, reach up, other arm. And try to think of it as a lateral bend, stretching through that side body. Release, bring yourself into all fours, slide the hands so they're ahead of the shoulders, tuck the toes under, press the hips up or downward dog. Knees can be soft. You want the feet in a straight line. Tuck those elbows in, tighten up into the armpits. Two more breaths. Knees to ground, big toes together, knees apart. Walk the hands mat width, sit back, forehead to ground if you can, stretching the sides of the body, low back and glutes. And come on up, left knee under hip, right leg out, lunge forward, line that knee and hip up, tuck the tailbone under and extend the spine back. So we wanna feel that stretch through the hip flexor here when you've got it, inhale the arms straight up and exhale and lean away. I also like bringing my hand behind my head and giving a little pull with the other arm. I find I can really get a nice stretch through the TFL muscle in the front of the hip, which can be tight and angry with some people. And then you also stretch into the tricep and lats here. Good, a couple more breaths. And release, let's do the other side. So our setup, knee under hip, left leg, ankle ahead of the knee slightly, and then you'll lunge forward to line the two up. Here's your best cue though to really get that hip flexor is tuck the tailbone under, squeeze that glute, inhale the arms straight up and lean away, or let the hand drop behind the neck and use your other hand to gently guide the hand further down the back. And release, final stretch for the inner thighs. Take it into a butterfly stretch. Heels come close to the bum. You can place your hands behind you if you have a hard time with this to help sort of give you some support to press yourself up because I don't want you all rounded. The other thing, other option you can do if you have a wall close by like I do, for instance, you can place your back against the wall. That really helps, especially if you are tight in the inner thigh area. If you can, otherwise you're sitting nice and tall, bringing the knees down to the ground, chest is lifted. Whew, great stretch. So thank you so much for joining me. Make sure you leave a comment down below. I'd love to hear how you're doing and what you thought of the workout, as well as click a thumbs up. That really does help this video with the YouTube algorithm. And release. All right. Hey, so maybe you'll see you. I'll see you over on Patreon if you're part of our Patreon community. If not, why the heck not? 
It's a pretty damn awesome community. We've got information down below as well as information on my awesome fitness app, Over 50 Fitness. Have a great rest of your day and we'll see you next workout. Bye.